Hi, regular viewers may have detected a degree of pessimism creeping into these video casts recently. Certainly, after well over a decade of social peace in the face of austerity, arriving at the present dire situation, I think this is somewhat justified. The Black Lives Matter movement and the police bill protests tamely spluttered out, and we face a winter of discontent on the industrial union front, but it will bear no resemblance to the original late 70s version. The environmental movement, as exemplified by Extinction Rebellion, is passive, middle class and going nowhere apart from ritual meaninglessness. The urban uprisings left by, led by black youth are history. Populist ultra-right such as the EDL, BMP have briefly lit up the political firmament only to return to the gutter from which they originated. The anti-lockdown movement disappeared into the mist, never to return. Petrification dominates at all levels. The mass impoverishment of countless millions, further millions edging towards the precipice due to inflation, economic and social factors, energy price hikes, have produced toothless movements like enough is enough and don't pay, which lack imagination and are doomed to impotence. There's also the matter of the eternal rightward drift that at this moment in time is attempting to capitalize on the migrant crisis. The left, as an alternative fulcrum, is more or less dead, subsumed into the Labour Party during the Corbyn illusion. Labour, meanwhile, have become more right-wing than the Tories on some issues, like migration. As for the anarchists, anarchic politics and social movements, who could have guessed with the great expanding social and political void, they've had no impact whatsoever, trapped in a self-consuming mishmash of identity and lifestyle cultism. The most depressing thing for me is that even our dispossessed, marginalised, lumpen, working class elements, the most bloody minded, confrontational on a street level, have been utterly moribund. Yet this creaking, rotten to the foundation system, incapable of reform and innovation, decadent to the core, is ripe for revolutionary challenge from below. Despite all the disappointment so far, I'm still convinced the 2020s will be the decade of revolution here in the disunited kingdom. Any other outcome is too horrible to contemplate. Bye.